replace me, I'm guys. I mean, uh, hello, my name's Tommy, Velocity Tuning. So, this update video is about my fullest engine on the F10M5. Do you know what? I think I've done like two videos now, um, talking about the engine and talking about this and talking about that, and I've watched them back, and I don't know, maybe I'm feeling a bit shy saying, but I'm watching the videos back and I'm thinking, oh, I don't like that, I'm not, I'm not gonna put it up. So, um, anyway, this is like the third update video that I've done, um, but it's actually the first that you're gonna see. Uh, where I'm at with the F10M5? Well, the Fools engine's in. Yes, the Fools engine is in the car. I'm well happy. So, uh, the engine went in Saturday. It's actually Tuesday today. Um, I've done 304 miles on the engine. Uh, I've actually just had the aircon put back in it because it's lovely today. It is 21.5 degrees according to the dash. Um, and I'm sweating my gonads off in here. So I've just had the aircon top done it, which is basically me saying this engine's staying in. Um, what have I been up to? So since I've done the last video on the old engine, um, I set the world record for 100 to 200 kilometers and 60 to 130 mile per hour. Um, the 100 to 200 was 4.7 seconds and the uh, 60 to 130 was 5.4 seconds. So um, I did push on the engine quite a bit to do that, but it took it, so fantastic. Um, I pretty much had all the last week off uh, to get the engine in. Um, I actually went up to Southampton in the stock engine on Tuesday to see the guys at uh, GA Coding. I don't know where it is, but I've got one of those digital keys. Um, so, you know, like where you can turn it on and off with, with the digital fob, which is uh, pretty cool, I think. Um, and yeah, we, we jumped onto the engine swap on Wednesday. And like I said, I had it done by Saturday. Could have probably had it done by Friday, um, but took the time with some checks uh, and whatnot. So, what is this engine? What's actually been done to it? So, the block is um, uh, a normal F10M5 block. Uh, the bores, I do not have liners, so they're still Alicil. Um, the crank has been balanced and micro-polished for the new rods and pistons, which are Carrillo. The compression has been left the same as standard. I didn't want to drop it any lower. Um, and then I've got ARP bolts on, on the top. So um, that is that is most of the engine build right there. I've also got port and polished heads. Not massively ported and polished, only a light job because to be honest with you, um, sometimes I'm a bit nervous and I, I get worried that if you go too aggressive on things, it can actually be worse. So it's got a light port and polish and I'm more than happy with that. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Also, I've got new oil pump, new water pump, um, new chain, new guides, new valve stem seals, uh, all the other bits um, with the engine in terms of that has been changed as well. Um, other bits that have been changed on the car since the last done video uh, are now of carbon um, prop shaft on it or um, drive shaft if you're in America. I have a, uh, a billet diff mount as well. Um, and I've done some little things as well, like I say, I've got the key changed, I've got the MBT Evo system, um, I've got some different Project Gamma intakes, absolutely loving the Project Gamma stuff actually. Uh, all those records I set was done using the Project Gamma bits. The spool fuel pumps that I've got, they're great. Um, they're a little bit squeaky actually, I've got to see if that can be changed in the map, but when you're sort of like on mid throttle um there is there is a light squeaking sound coming from there that i'm hoping can be rectified in the calibration uh the fact that i have a carbon bonnet with vents right above those fuel pressure pumps um sort of uh aggravates that issue i've got my own three and a half inch downpipes now so uh velocity tuning three and a half inch downpipes most of the downpipes out there were three inch be honest with you at first i didn't think it was really going to make much of a difference seeing as the rest of the system's like three inch but do you know what from what i've seen on the cars i've tested it on it does actually help it does actually make a difference so um i'm going to be keeping those on my car so i would like i would like to see 1200 break out of this vehicle that is the goal if i don't hit it i change whatever i've got to change it's not like wherever i'm at now it's the final for it. The engine should be good for whatever I want to throw at it. So that, that's where I'm at. 
The turbos that I'm using are Silly Rabbit Motorsport. Um, really good company. They, they're making good quality stuff out there. The turbos I've got are quite big and they're single scroll. Um, they react and come on boost pretty decent. They they they're not they're not like they're super laggy and you're waiting for them to spool up for ages. But the power does come in a lot later in the RPM. Um, it's not like the, the standard turbos, you can be at like two grand to be making like 20 odd PSI if you're crazy enough to try it. Um, these, these turbos won't come on boost at them sort of uh, RPMs. Um, also, the boost management has been changed, so the boost is controlled by vacuum normally. I'm on a, a positive system, um, and mapping wise, I ain't really got too much to do because I spent months and months setting it all up on the stock engine. So the fuel pumps, uh, the turbos, um, all the fuel mixes that I've been running, all of that, I've all got it all dialed in already. Because this engine's running the same compression, that hasn't changed. The only thing that I may have to factor for slightly is the, the porting on the heads. But to be honest with you, I don't think it's gonna need that much work. So um, I've got to get a thousand miles done on her before she's ready to be pushed on and see what she's capable of. At the moment, I'm at uh, 307, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. It's, uh, I've had the engine running for four days, so hopefully in four days' time, I've, I've got 600, and maybe four days after that, I'm, I'm close to the 1,000, who knows? Um, but yeah, for you guys that have been wanting an update, how did the engine go? Did you put the engine in? What parts have you used? These are the answers to your questions.